All right, welcome back everyone. In today's episode, we'll be reviewing how you can create new classes inside of Laravel. All right, so for the purposes of this video, I have created a simple class called human here on the left, which has one property name, and we can pass that property inside the constructor of the class. So by default, when you go to make a new class, your instincts might tell you to use the new keyword and just instantiate the class directly like so. So here we're creating a new human class with argument name of Owen, and we're assigning that to the variable human. So there's actually no problem with this code. You can run this as it is, ship it to production, everything will work great um, until you need to test it and actually mock it. So instead of this simple human class like we have on the left, pretend that this is actually like the GitHub API and we need to mock that. So with Laravel, it's actually really easy to do this. We just need to change how we create the class. So instead of doing it like this, what we want to do is create the class using Laravel's container. And that looks like this. So we get the app and then we call make. Um, in this case, we're going to call make with because we're passing arguments. But if you had no arguments to pass, you just call make. And we're going to make a human. And we're going to pass in the name argument, which matches the name of the variable in the constructor, and we're going to pass in Owen. And then that'll return a new instance of the human class. And then going forward, when we need to test it, um, we test it like normal. We just mock the human class, and then we bind the mock into the container. So we say, application, whenever a uh, human is asked for, instead return this mock. And then from there, because we use the make method from the container, uh, Laravel will resolve the human class correctly and instantiate it as intended. All right, so that's been this episode of Snippet Sunday. I hope you learned something. Uh, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more updates, and we'll be back with you next week. Thank you.